Hello everyone, this is Ashwin here. In this video, we are going to see about how to handle large data set. So whenever we are dealing with uh, some tabular data or any kind of data, um, for normal machine learning, it will be like 1 MB to 5 MB. That's like a small data. What happens if you have like 1 gigabytes to like 10 gigabytes of data? You can't able to load everything into the memory and do the data processing and uh, training. It will be very tedious and, and you will also facing some uh, crashing of the kernel and uh, exhausted memory. Uh, sometimes it will even uh, crash your entire system. So in order to avoid these things, uh, we are going to see how to handle the large data set with using uh, different uh, techniques. So uh, in this video, we will mainly see how to reduce the uh, size of the data we are loading by optimizing few things in the data without losing much information. Now let's dive into it. First, I'm going to load the data set. So df equals pd dot read csv. So here I just downloaded uh, some data with having uh, around uh, 1 million uh, samples. So that's like a suitable example for us. So this is the data. I'll just say df dot head. So it has uh, uh, more columns with different uh, data types. As you can able to see, these are all like uh, categories and uh, we have some uh, numeric data here and we also have uh, date attributes and uh, we also have like continuous attributes. So this data will cover like pretty much everything. So we will see how to process this. Let's see the um, size of this data, how much it is loaded into the memory. So for that, I'll just use df.info. In order to see uh, what is the size of the data, we'll just uh, say verbose equals false because we don't need to uh, display the types of the uh, data sets here. And we also say memory usage equals deep. Run this. Now you can see uh, we have uh, around like 1 million uh, samples, 14 columns and uh, we have five floats, two integers, and uh, seven objects. So this is a good example for us. Now let's see, uh, we have around 489 megabytes. So this is a uh, large data. If you are uh, using like uh, 10 years back, we would have only uh, have around like one gigabytes or two gigabytes of uh, RAM. So this will be uh, tedious to process. You can also similarly apply to the data set which have like uh, uh, 5 gigabytes or uh, 10 gigabytes, we can able to see how much we are going to reduce this uh, original data. So the first technique we are going to use is end rows. Uh, whenever you are dealing with the large data, you can't able to fully load into the memory and see what are the available data types you have, what are the columns you have. It will be tedious to load it everything and uh, do the processing. So if you want to just get the sample of the data and uh, do the analysis, you can use this n rows. n rows. Or you can also use some uh, skip rows if you want. So this is uh, one of the pandas parameter. What I'm going to do is df equals, maybe I'll just copy the whole thing. And uh, here, I'll just say n rows equals, I just need like 1000 uh, data. Let's see how it is uh, getting. So n4, maybe I'll just get this. Okay, we are just getting only uh, 1000 samples from this uh, data set. Let's run this. Now you can able to see, uh, instead of like loading everything, we just loaded uh, all the columns with uh, only 1000 entries. So this will be easier to process the data and to see wa what is there and uh, what are the things we need. So this is this will be better if you want to just look at the data and do some analysis. So the total memory usage is like 500 uh, KB. So it will be easier for us to do the processing. So this is one method. And the next method is to use only the required columns. Uh, you don't need this uh, 14 entries. You just need only like 10 entries. Uh, let's say I want to drop this uh, order date, order ID, ship date. Uh, instead of loading this, we will just uh, load the required columns. 
to do that so with the help of this end rows we can able to get the column names i will say calls equals df dot columns let's see the column list so this is the column list currently it's an object we'll just convert it into a list values so now it's an uh, array now in this column list i'll just copy the column here and i will create a new variable called uh, required columns equals so these are the columns i just uh, drop these things i don't need this so i'll just delete this and uh, these are the remaining columns i just uh, needed run this now let's load the data set again with only this uh, required columns let's load this so instead of using end rows we'll just remove this and uh, use calls equals required calls so this will be easier to just load that uh, particular columns we'll also display it in the head as you can able to see we just deleted uh, uh, these three columns let's see how much uh, memory we have saved because of that see it has been reduced from uh, 489 megabytes to 356 megabytes Th that's a huge difference so like this you just uh, uh, load whatever necessary and uh, avoid uh, the remaining unnecessary uh, columns at the starting itself so it will uh, save some memory and uh, you can uh, process this further so this is one way and uh, the other way is to use uh, the proper data type Currently, you can able to see all the float numbers are using float 64 and int also in 64 and object have uh, uh, around five objects. So all these will consume more memory. So what I'm going to do is uh, just see the maximum and uh, minimum and uh, maximum range of these uh, columns and uh, reduce the data type. So what you can do is you can convert it into like float 32, uh, int 8 or uh, this two category. Let's see how to do that. First, uh, we need some information. So I'll say df dot describe. Let's get the range. So this will give you the statistical uh, result of the minimum and uh, maximum. So here these are some integers. So what I'm going to do is uh, just check whether you have like a huge data difference. If you have huge data difference means you can just leave it as it is. But currently we can able to see uh, the data um, minimum and the maximum is uh, not much of a difference you can able to uh, convert this to uh, uh, float 16 in 16 and object can be converted into a category now you can able to see the memory usage here now let's change this convert data type of the column okay now i'm gonna use like a for loop for column in df dot columns if df of call dot d type equals so what are the data types we have float 64 in 64 and object so float 64 And also I'm going to do the same thing for three times. Okay, this will be in 64. In 64, this will be object. So if I seen float 64, I'm just going to convert the data. So df of call equals df of call dot as type float 16 and similarly df of call equals df of call dot as type here it will be in 16 and similarly I'm gonna use the same thing for object so here instead of using object I'm gonna use category 
So we just covered all the different data types. Now let's run this. Now again, we will see the memory usage. Before it was like 356 megabytes. Now let's see. Now you can clearly see from 356 uh, megabytes, we just converted into 17 megabytes. Uh, we just uh, reduced the memory usage drastically using this uh, conversion of uh, data types. And uh, we just retained all the column entries that is 11 and uh, you can also see the number of samples it's still a million but the data usage is reduced to around uh, 17 megabytes so that is the power of uh, converting the data types and uh, instead of doing the conversion here while reading the uh, data set like here you can just uh, set the column type you can just set the column data type so i'll just uh, give you an example here Maybe I'll just use this, use this and uh, here I'll just say D type, D type equals in a dictionary, um, we have to set the column type. What I'm going to say is, I don't know which column corresponds to which one. So let's say region country and uh, units sold. So region is an object. I'm going to convert that into category. So region equals category. Okay. And uh, units sold. Units sold. I think this have yes. Okay. Now I just convert the two int 16 so like this you can able to convert the uh, data set now here you can see the info like this Maybe i'll just copy this so i'm just converting into like uh, only uh, uh, two categories you can uh, see the difference here see we just uh, converted only uh, uh, two columns so because of the two columns itself we just reduce the data from 356 to 282. Uh, using this, uh, you can just uh, load the data set with whatever data types uh, you just need to convert it. So assign the column name as the key and the corresponding data type as the value. You can just uh, do this for all the remaining columns as well. And uh, in the end, you will be getting this data. So this is how you can use the um, data type to your advantage. So, so far uh, you can clearly see like how to uh, reduce the memory usage of the data set. Now we are going to see how to load the data set uh, 10 times faster. So this will be load data set faster. I'll just leave some space. Now, I'm just gonna use time it. So I'll just say, I will percentage time. And uh, let's see how much time it takes to load the whole data. I'll just copy this, paste this. I'm not gonna do anything. Just gonna load the data. Here, uh, it takes like two seconds to load the data. Uh, let's see how to make this even faster. I'm gonna use uh, chunk size uh, in order to load the data set uh, faster. I'll also add like using chunks. Okay, now again, I'm gonna use the same thing. Okay, here, I'm going to say iterator equals true and chunk size equals 1000. I'm just uh, creating like a thousand samples for each chunk. And after that, okay, I'll just uh, use uh, some other variable called chunks. Now after that, it will be like a 
chunks of data you have to like concatenate it so i'll say df equals pd dot concat of chunks comma ignore index true now let's run this i think this concatenation function is taking too much time i'll just comment this because we are just loading the data here we are uh, not doing any kind of uh, processing now let's run this now you can uh, clearly see it just took around 6 milliseconds but it load all the data you can also check this by uh, running the command like here um, instead of head i am just gonna display the length of the data and this again okay it has like a million uh, samples it took around 2.1 seconds now here i'm gonna run the same thing it took around like uh, 92 5 milliseconds okay that's fine now we in order to get the total length what we can do is instead of doing the concatenation i'm just gonna calculate the length so for chunk in chunks length equals plus equals len of chunk and finally i'm gonna display the length i'll just initialize length equals zero run this so calculating this will take some time because uh, we just uh, have chunk size of like thousand as you can able to see it actually loaded everything into this uh, chunks variable after uh, calculating all the length the length equals the same but the loading time of the data set reduced greatly because of using this uh, chunk size so that's the advantage of using chunks you can able to quickly uh, load the data set much faster than this if you have like billions of uh, uh, rows so it will be uh, easier and after that you can able to slowly concatenate or uh, and do the pre-processing as i said uh, before so that's it guys uh, apart from that uh, you can also use uh, multi-processing multi-processing so this will uh, able to use like uh, multiple cores in order to process the data and you can also use dask module so this module is also similar to pandas but it doesn't have most of the functionalities in pandas but it actually loads the data set uh, much faster so that is the advantage of using Dask. But I guess these techniques, what we have seen so far, it will be pretty much helpful in order to reduce the uh, data set size. And after that, you can uh, apply whatever uh, you want. Even if you want to process this uh, data, like if you want to do some uh, operations, use the NumPy uh, module. So this will do the mathematical operations very quickly compared to the inbuilt functions in the pandas. So these are the techniques uh, you can able to use uh, to load the data set uh, much quicker and uh, you can also reduce the data set size greatly like this and uh, that's pretty much it guys if you have any queries regarding this video please leave a comment below apart from that if you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe the channel for more videos like this see you guys in the next video